हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद आसिम एंड वी आर डूइंग एडमेस एडमेस फॉर आईजीसीएसई स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच हैव सिलेबस कोड 0606 एंड फॉर सीआई ओ लेवल स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच हैव सिलेबस कोड 4037 सो बोथ काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कैन गेट इक्वल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस कोर्स स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टार्टेड एक्सरसाइज 7.2 यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन and we did first six questions of this exercise today we are going to do remaining questions of exercise 7.2 so let's have a look question number 7 of exercise 7.2 you can see on the screen question number 7 the coordinates of three points a minus 4 4 b k minus 2 and c 2k plus 1 comma minus 6 find the value of k if a b and c are collinear the concept of collinear means if two or more points lie on a same line then these points are called collinear points so first we have to write the given point a minus 4 4 B K minus 2 C 2K plus 1 comma minus 6 now if all the points are lie in a same line then these are called collinear points it means the gradient of all the points are same so first we have to find the gradient of a B how to find the gradient of two points we already given the concept in previous lecture y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 is the formula of gradient so this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 so y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 x1 is minus 4 so it would be minus minus plus 4 minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 and k plus 4 now we have to find the gradient of gradient of ac ac or bc no difference no problem you will get the same answer so y2 here y2 is minus 6 minus y1 is 4 4 upon x2 is 2k plus 1 minus x1 x1 is minus minus 4 so it would be minus minus plus 4 minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10 upon 2k 1 plus 4 is 5 now we have find the gradient of a b and the gradient of a c now we have to apply the concept of collinear as as a B and C are collinear this implies that gradient of a B is equals to gradient of a C gradient of a B is minus 6 over k plus 4 is equals to gradient of ac is minus 10 over 2k plus 5 this minus cancel by this minus cancel by 2 2 3 is a 6 2 5 is a 10 apply cross multiplication method 2k plus 5 is equals to 5 multiply by k plus 4 3 2 is a 6 6 k 3 5 is a 15 is equals to 5 into k is 5 k 5 4 is a 20 shift all k's on other side so 6 k minus 5 k is equals to 20 and shift this 15 on this side 20 minus 15 6 k I am doing over here 6k minus 5k is k and 20 minus 15 
is 5 so the value of k is 5 and this is our final answer so students if you find the gradient of a b and if you take the gradient of b c and equate them you will get again the answer is same because all the points are collinear collinear means lie in a same line come to question number 8 Question number 8 is very interesting. The vertices of triangle ABC are A, K, A minus K minus 2, B, K minus 4 and C4, comma K minus 2. Find the possible values of K if angle ABC is 90 degree. So this is a triangle you know if the angle of one angle of the triangle is 90 degree then it is called a right angle triangle so first we have to draw a rough right angle triangle this is 90 degree and a b c so b should be over here this is a and this is c so this is the situation a is minus k minus 2 B is K minus 4 and C is 4 and K minus 2. So first we have to find the gradient of line AB. Again apply Y2 minus Y1. Y2 is minus 4. Y1 is minus 2. So minus minus plus upon y uh, x2 is k minus minus x1 is k minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 k plus k is 2k now find the gradient of bc so y2 minus y1 k minus 2 minus y1 is minus 4 so plus 4 upon x2 is 4 and x1 is k so k 4 minus 2 is plus 2 upon 4 minus k so this is the gradient of bc as line ab as line ab is perpendicular to line bc therefore the product of their gradient should be equals to minus 1 so what is the gradient of AB minus 2 upon 2K multiply by what is the gradient of BC K plus 2 upon 4 minus K is equals to minus 1 multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator minus 2 into K is minus 2K minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 2k into 4 is 8k 2k into k is 2k square is equals to minus 1 so minus 2k minus 4 is equals to multiply 8k minus 2k square by minus 1 so sign will be changed it will be minus 8k and minus minus plus 2k square so 2k square minus 8k shift minus 2k on this side plus 2k minus 4 becomes plus 4 is equals to 0 2k square minus 8k plus 2k is minus 6k plus 4 is equals to 0 this is the quadratic equation before I solve this quadratic equation first I want to reduce this quadratic equation divide the whole equation by 2 2 cancel by 2 k square 2 3 is a 6 k 2 2 is a 4 0 upon 2 is 0 apply the middle term break method 2 1 is a 2 2 and 1 is 3 k square minus 2 k minus k plus 2 is equals to 0 
k is common k minus 2 minus 1 is common k minus 2 is equals to 0 k minus 2 k minus 1 is equals to 0 this implies that k is 2 and k is 1 and this is our final answer so very easy question just apply the concept of perpendicular lines the gradient the product of gradient of perpendicular line is always equals to minus 1 come to next question challenging question though uh, this question you should do this question yourself but you know this is my habit I always do each and every question that's why I say there is no YouTube channel who does each and every question there is no uh, YouTube uh, math YouTube channel where you can see the whole exercise and whole question all parts see the question number nine a is the point minus two zero b is the point two six find the point c on the x axis such that the angle a b c is 90 degree so if i draw x and y axis and you can see the point C on X axis according to question this is point C and the angle ABC is 90 degree angle ABC is 90 degree so this is point C and this is point A minus 2 0 you can say this one is minus 2 and B is 2 6 so it should be over here B over here and A this is just a rough diagram okay and this is 90 degree according to question okay so first we have to let the coordinate of C R X and 0 you know on X axis the, the value of Y is always 0 so first we have to find the gradient gradient of AB gradient of AB 6 minus 0 upon 2 plus 2 6 upon 4 2 3 is a 6 2 2 is a 4 3 upon 2 now find the gradient of BC the gradient of BC is 0 minus 6 upon X minus 2 minus 6 upon X minus 2 because AB and BC are perpendicular therefore we have to apply the concept of gradient of perpendicular lines that is the product of the gradient should be equals to minus 1 
now find the gradient of AB first we have to find the gradient of a b sorry we have already find the gradient of a b so just put the value of gradient of a b that is 3 upon 2 gradient of b c is minus 6 upon x minus 2 is equals to minus 1 3 6 is a minus 18 2 into x 2 x 2 2 is a 4 is equals to minus 1 cancel this minus by this minus sign 18 is equals to 2x minus 4 18 plus 4 is equals to 2x 18 plus 4 is 22 2x 2 into 11 is a 22 value of x is 11 so x is equals to 11 therefore the coordinates of point c is 11 comma 0 and this is our final answer and this is the whole exercise 7.2 we successfully done each and every question of exercise 7.2 hope you completely understand our next target will be exercise 7.3 so if you students if you like my videos and if you satisfied my lecture kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture